We're going to do some test printing today with inkjet printers on garments and workwear. Uh, so our customer want, is asking to be able to mark company name and, and employee names on the, these, these products. We're going to do some test printing. We're going to do, run them through the washing machines and see how the ink all holds up. We're going to use three different printers today and we're going to start with the EBS Handjet 250. Okay, so my first message I'm going to print is, I think the company name. This is with just a one, the lowest intensity of ink. And then I'm going to switch to print mode number two. Number three. And then we're going to increase the intensity on this one. All right, so now we're going to print it uh, with more drops. So it's going to be a more intensity of the ink. So we're going to click. And with this printer, I'm rolling this encoder wheel. This encoder wheel has to roll. Now I'm message number two. Elizabeth and number three. I'll do Tom right on the floor. I'll do Tom down here. Number two. Now we're doing droplets of intensity of three, so this is even darker. Okay, so this time we're in D6. We've upped it a lot because this is really porous and soaking it up. We're going to do some more test printing on the back of this sweater with even more intensity. So we're going to max this out as far as it'll go. Tom is getting definitely more intense on this porous surface. We've got two more notches to go. We're going to up it to those. So this is the highest intensity we can do with this hand jet unit. You can also realize that even though it's rough with this wheel rolling, it is able to print on this surface. So here it is with our darkest intensity. Enbridge D10. This is the maximum print height we can get. Um, I also wanted to mention it's an acetone based ink. And with this unit, we wouldn't be able to go back and redo it. So you get, we only have the intensity settings on that because we'd never be able to line this up again. So now we're going to move on to some of the jet stamp printers. So this is our message with the uh, jet stamp 1025. We're going to print the second. This is the first print. We're going to print two and three times. It's kind of dark, but you can see in there. Now when I print my one, if I don't move, so obviously the problem with the printhead is rubbing on that. The seam is the issue. To number three now, this will be three prints I'll go. If I angle it a bit, the printhead shouldn't rub this time. Throw distance with this is about a quarter of an inch, so that turned out a little bit better. And that is with the MP3 ink, which is metal plastics ink it's called. This is um, not as vibrant, but the other one it will be water-based ink. So this is a solvent-based ink. The other one will be a water-based ink. I'm going to do some more printing down here. With this unit, I realized I have to angle the tip it a little bit, the print head. This will be one print. And with this one, we won't move the unit. You have to leave it in the same spot. Clicking the button. I'm clicking this button, but you can click these ones as well. I'll click the side button on this case here. I'll go to number three. I'm going to go three times. This time I'll use the side button so you can see that, but I'm angling again. So as long as you don't move, it just overlays it and it basically you get a darker print. So now we're going to do Alex as a four prints. And it's a smooth surface. I'm going to still angle it a little bit. Three, four, five, six. I'll do the same down here. And now we're going to switch to the water-based ink. So now we switch the ink cartridge to the water-based ink. We'll see how that holds up in the wash. We're also going to do one print of each. So that is a one print. This is a, an Enbridge logo, uh, minus the the little swoopy thing. I don't know what that's called, but this was the logo we imported uh, to give you an idea. So now we're going to print Alex again. Um, these were the two 
solvent based inks. I'm going to put two water based inks down here and we're going to do four and six prints. Make sure it's fairly smooth, a little bit of an angle. One, two, four. And this printer will do 300 dpi. So we've done the test wash on both the garments now and we did basically a washing machine with a sunlight detergent and uh, hot water and I did uh, hot dry as well. So you can see the quality of the ink here. Uh, held up pretty well on all of them. Uh, I'll just flip a couple over here too so you can see. So on this side was the water-based one print, two print, three prints, one print, two print, three prints. Same down there. So that was the water print, water based ink. Held up really well. You can see the solvent based ink we did here was a four and a six print. Solvent based, solvent based. It came up a little bit more vibrant as well. It, it held up as well. And over here we've got some more solvent based. single, double, triple prints with solvent based. That's the Reiner 1025. If we look at the hand jet prints, we've got the three, uh, density three, density 10, and then uh, these ones of course are the densities here. Density one, density two, uh, one, two, those are density two. So on this side we were just testing the 970. Uh, that was a water-based ink that we had for it. And we were testing this more for size because this printer doesn't go as big if you're happy with the size of that. And I'll move to the other garment. With this cotton one, same thing. We got a, a solvent-based ink. Print once, print once, print two, print two, print three, print three on the reflective, which I don't know is allowed or not, but I wanted to see how it held up in the washing machine. And again, we got one print, two print, three prints, solvent-based inks. And we flip this over. Water-based ink for this test printing was one, two, and three prints. One, two, and three prints. Same down here. This is water-based. One, two, and three prints. Uh, solvent-based ink here was a four and a six print, I believe we did. And here, just the same four and six prints on Yeah, here is the results from the hand jet on a density one, density two on the reflective and then density two there. We moved over to density three was here. And then we jumped to density six for these three. And this was density eight. And this one at the bottom was density 10. So overall, the ink held up pretty well in one wash, and we will now send it back to you for more test printing.